Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Then it was not meant for you. It was meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get some Romance Angel cards. We're going to get some Whispers of Love. <laughs> and then we'll get some Tarot. We'll look at past, present, and future energies. And we'll get some clarifiers and close out with an Oracle. All right, so let's see what's going on for Capricorn. And I kind of feel like that one just <laughs> popping out. We have be willing to express love, express love to receive love. So it's that give and take within a relationship, right? We have to have that give and take. We can't always be the, the taker, but we also can't always be the giver, right? We, we like to have, you know, it's good to have that, that back and forth within a relationship. And that's, that's something to, you know, be aware of. And sometimes, sometimes we feel like we are giving, but maybe we're giving to what feels right to us, but we need to make sure that we communicate with our partner to say, what is it that you need me to give to you, right? Just because we may feel that that's something that if we receive that, that feels good. But maybe to that other person, maybe that's not at the top of the list for what makes them feel good. Um, as I said before, that five love languages book that that helps, you know, kind of to sort things out to um, figure out what's most important and to have that that conversation as as in someone's needs within a relationship and I am not affiliated with that book at all I know I talk about it a lot um, but I just feel that that's a good starting point to have that conversation if you're feeling like you know you're just missing the mark right all right we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so it could be that for me, I'm kind of feeling a couple of different things is that it's worth waiting for to figure out those things, right? That what is important between the two of you and each of you and to f fulfill those needs and have that give and take. And it's worth waiting for to, to, to figure those things out, right? These things take time. Um, also that it could be that if you're single and you're working on yourself before you get into the next relationship, that you make sure that you're willing to express love, you know, to take those walls down to show that person that you care and that they're important and that, that you work on that, right? That you, that you make sure that, you know, sometimes we say we are, but then, you know, we get in a relationship and that person does one thing and then all of a sudden our walls just shoot right back up, right? And you're like, nope, I'm staying guarded, <laughs> you know, and maybe that's something to to make sure that you work on that before you start your next relationship so it doesn't s continue that relationship pattern if that's what happened in the past, if that was something that caused a problem. All right, so for past energy, we have the high priest, and that's the hierophant. And we have, I feel like there was just a lot of disinterest there. Could be with a, with a Taurus. Seven of Swords, all right, current energies. We have the Wheel of the Year, so that change, right? Having that positive hope and that change and that, you know, the Star, Aquarius. Future energies, we have the Lord of Shadows, which is the Death card, which can be Scorpio. And then we have the Standing Stone, which is the um, Justice card. And I'm feeling like this one too, love it. Ace of Wands, right? New actions. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. So I kind of feel like that's, all right, so... <laughs> be willing to express love. So I kind of feel like if you're in a relationship, that's kind of where you are now, right? That person is definitely stepping back and like, yeah, wait a minute, what? <laughs> right, two of swords is, you know, making that choice about what it is that you want to do. If you're feeling like you don't want to express love to that person, I feel like that's something that maybe do you, you need to look into and saying, well, why am I feeling that way? Why am I feeling like I need to step back or I need to keep my guard up? Like, what is it that's making me feel that way? And what are those things that I need to change that? Is it something within myself? If it, is it something with my partner, right? Am I not expressing, you know, how I'm feeling or, or what I need from that person, right? 
Um, and sometimes if we're not giving that energy to that other person, that person will put up their walls, right? So you have walls against walls and they're being standoffish too because they're feeling this type of way from you. So just definitely something to think about because um, we have this two of swords here. All right, so for past energies, we have the Hierophant and we have the Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords is just kind of that, you know, she's standing there at the door with her arms crossed and she's irritated and she's like, okay, where have you been? And he's like, he's just kind of disinterested. He was on a hunt. It was very successful, but he's being distracted by this skunk, right? So he's not really, you know, giving that effort to, hey, I've been gone for a long time and being excited to see this person. And she's like, well, where have you been? And he's like, oh, I'm being distracted by this skunk, right? And I feel like there's sort of this disinterest within this relationship. Like there's other things are like kind of trying to focus on other things instead of focusing on the core of the problem here, right? The, the core of the issue, right? Why this two of swords where you're feeling like, you're stepping away from that person. And again, that's what I was saying is that kind of looking within that if you're feeling like you have to put walls up, why are you doing that? What's making you feel that way? So this current energy, we have the wheel of the year, we have the star card. So I feel like that's making that change, right? You're in that energy or getting into that energy of, okay, this is not how I want this relationship to go. This is not how I want it to be. That if I want change within the relationship, that I have to take those steps to make those changes, right? That I can't leave that to that other person. Or if that other person does, right, this person's trying to reach forward and reach out. That if this person does reach out, that I, that I make sure that I make the effort to respond to that, right? That I make the effort to respond to that person because... Yes, we can be angry and then we can kind of put up our walls, but then we can't let that happen for a long time because then that creates more problems. And if you need more time to sort through that, to communicate to the person and say, you know, I'm still really angry about what happened or I'm still upset about what happened and I still need some more time to myself to process before I move forward. And having that communication and telling that to the other person so that they can understand what's going on instead of just you know, not talking to that person and shutting down and that person's trying to figure out, I don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to reach out. I'm trying to make an effort, you know, and it's, I'm not getting any response. But if you have that communication, that's what helps within the relationship. So I feel like this energy here is that you're starting to have hope. You're starting to, you know, have that wheel where things are changing, figuring out what needs to be done, how you're feeling, moving forward. And then for the future energies, we have the death card, we have the ace of wands, and we have the justice card. So I feel like it's letting go of what you feel is holding you back, right? That's ha having you put those walls up. But then it's also that transformation and that change and that compromise because um, this card is also about compromise. It's like sometimes we have to have that give and take within a relationship, right? Um, that back and forth and sometimes it can't always be our way that we have to have that compromise so that each person feels like they have at least had some positive in the situation and I feel like it really changes the relationship here especially with the ace of wands that there's new actions new things that are going on within this relationship but as I said before you know relationships are always evolving and changing and growing and it's like how do you handle those more difficult times um, and how do you get through those? Do you put up the walls, you know, shut down and that's how you deal with it and sweep everything under the rug? Or is it, do you kind of realize that it's something that you have to face and you have to deal with? And, and that's not always easy. That's not always easy to have to face that. That's, you know, it's easier to just walk away and ignore it, but it comes back. <laughs> It'll come back around and it'll fester in different ways, so... All right, so let's get some clarifiers, right? Smoothing the waters, right? Smoother waters, that there's always going to be challenges in the, in the waters, and there's always going to be things coming up, right? As soon as you get through this, you know, there's going to be another issue. There's going to be another time where something's going on and you have to deal with it. But if you kind of have that way to communicate and deal with it and know that that pattern, that way works for both of you and you're able to move past it, then that's 
that's what you want to do, right? That's what you want to look into. We have the five of pentacles. So that represents a temporary hardship and that, you know, being in that mindset set of working through it and getting past it, right? Feeling frustrated right here. We have the eight of wands then moving forward, right? You're kind of taking that time to yourself, sort through how you feel and then move forward. Stress. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stress and a lot of worry because nobody likes to be in a relationship where you're feeling this nine of swords, where you're feeling that stress and that worry and you're putting your walls up and you're like, oh, I hate feeling this way, right? Like I don't like when relationships get to this point. Um, I don't like when there's disagreement. I don't like this. It's, it's not a good feeling. It's stressful. It keeps you up at night. But then we go from the Nine of Swords, we go to the Ace of Swords, which is Aces is new beginnings and new starts and getting past this situation. So I feel like definitely with this wheel and this Ace of Swords and the star, I feel that you are able to get past it because you are dealing with it, right? that you're figuring out how do we deal with this? How do we get past this? We have the justice card again. Um, and it's finding that balance within the relationship to what works for the both of you to get past these situations when there's disagreements, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles. Aces are new beginnings, new starts. We have the Ace of Swords and we have the Ace of Pentacles. So that's that new and the Ace of Wands, right? <laughs> all we need is the Ace of Cups, and then we have all the Aces. Um, but it's those new feelings, those new starts, that connection, right? Because Pentacles can represent that physical connection between the other person. So reconnecting on, on all levels of your relationship. The Magician, taking things under control, taking things in your own hands, right? Taking control of the situation. So this future energy is that you realize that you need to take control of the situation before it gets out of control. All right. Yeah, it's definitely tiring, right? Exhausting. It's exhausting going through this mental work. It's exhausting going through this, but I feel like it's very rewarding because you're able to figure out how to work through these situations so that when it comes up again, you know your pattern and what it is that needs to be done for the two of you to get through this. And that's why I feel like this worth waiting for is that this is something that is a process and takes time and it's worth waiting for because it builds your relationship. Even if you walk away from this relationship and you start a relationship with someone else, you're still going to get to the point where there's going to be issues and there's going to be problems. And you can't, if you keep just moving on to new relationships every time this happens, that you'll never be able to figure out how to work past it. And is the relationship one that you want to stay in and that you don't want to give up on and that you have to figure out how to work through these things, all right? To get to the three of cups, the happiness, right? The enjoyment, the celebration, celebrating the, yay, we worked through this, we got past this, right? Ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of wands. We take, we took those, we thought, we thought it through and then took those actions to work through the situation. And that's definitely a good thing. That's what you need to do within relationships. All relationships, friendships, family members, um, partnerships. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. All right, that's what I, yeah, that's perfect. Time to let go, right? And why are you, you know, questioning? Time to let go. However that works for you, right? Working through that, figuring out what is it that you're holding on to and what is it that you need to let go of and how do you move forward from here? All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.